as our family and our friends. Today we're happy to talk about one of the most uh, important facets of our lives. Uh, in fact, for we Christians or those that believe in God, it was one of the first things that God had to create uh, after creation itself. And so <clears throat> we are lucky to be here and I'm sure we are all going to be grateful for the leadership, the planning committee, and especially the women's commissioner and the plan, uh, like I said, the planning team for putting this together. Um, I don't want to take much time. I have three minutes and I want to go by the rule. Um, we have uh, very important personalities here in our midst. In fact, we are all very important. Uh, but like uh, the president said, we have some experience with people who might want to also uh, share uh, their experiences. The, the first person to speak, um, let me just introduce them uh, as they are, and then when they're about to speak, they also mention their names, and then we will know who uh, I talked about. Uh, we have uh, in our midst uh, a very important personality. Uh, she comes by the name, actually she is Mrs. And today is a special day because she is celebrating the 10th uh, marriage anniversary. So she's been married for 10 years, and the day is actually today. Uh, she's Mrs. Adjuanyan Techiwa Amwa. She's been a lecturer by profession for eight years. Um, happily married, like I said, for 10 years, pleasant with three children, and currently studying PhD at Jen Joe University um, in the Faculty of Public Health, Reading, uh, Nutrition, and Food Hygiene. Uh, we have our next speaker, so, uh, another important personality. Uh, Dr. Fifi Teria Hagan hails from Cape Coast in the central region, uh, Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology. Like I said, uh, he holds a doctorate in remote sensing. And he's been in China for uh, 11 good years, I would say. Uh, he's a Christian, and among his hobbies is reading and also music. In fact, he's a very good pianist, I've witnessed in my own eyes. Uh, he's not alone. He's here with a message. In fact, there's going to be um, a lot of experiences that we are going to learn here. Those that are uh, hoping to enter into the married mat uh, uh, matrimonial homes. In fact, uh, we have um, his message, Gabriela Dawenya Hagan, uh, also from, uh, she's from Salatiga, Indonesia. Uh, she's a graduate from Nanja Medical University. Uh, from pediatrics. Uh, she's also been in China for 10 good years. Uh, she's also a Christian. And among her hobbies is making crafts and listening to music. So the husband plays and she listens and sings too. All right. Um, we have Honorable Derek Ankwana Kujo, also a PhD student in industrial economics, Southeast University, and president of the National Union of Ghana Students, Nanjing. He also doubles as the founder and president of Grace Outreach Global Foundation. And he's also in our midst going to share his experience. He's not married yet, but he's dating and he wants to also share experience and his relation uh, with, the, with people of the opposite sex. Uh, we have another important speaker, Abigail Adu, Adu Asante Kuti, MSc Geological Engineering, final year at China University of Petroleum, Chandao. Uh, if you've ever come across this name, Cat's Food, Yams and More, you are, you are, you are in fact talking about the same person. Among her hobbies are reading, cooking, and in fact, she likes asking questions. So today we are also going to bombard her with a lot of questions. I thank you and sorry for your time. You are going to hear um, a lot of messages and information from these outstanding guest speakers. Thank you. Uh, before, before I go, I would like to call uh, the first uh, speaker, uh, please, I would want to go by the, the order that we are going today. So please give me some time. All right, the first speaker for today is going to be, okay, uh, Mrs. Amua. But first of all, let's hear Dr. Glo uh, Honorable Gloria Akwabla to, and, and the president to help us with the purpose of gathering. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Um, I, think, I don't think I have to speak a lot because um, the president already 
told us our purpose for gathering before we started. Um, today, you know, we have a lot of discussions on our women's page and this happened to be one of them. And we actually love the idea that we can get to meet with you guys and to also listen to your inputs on the topic. So today we're here to discuss the role of women in marriage and um, we're doing this as a family. So feel relaxed. Um, don't feel shy to ask your questions, but I hope that we are attending with the mindset of learning. This is not an attack on one sex or the other. Marriage is a partnership, right? So we are not here to fight. We are not here to argue. We are here to learn. And that's all I'd like to say. Thank you very much. And have a fun time. So Mrs. Amwa, over to you. Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Oh. Good evening. Okay. I, 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 I'm happy everybody can hear me. Yeah, good evening. Thank God for a day like this. And I also thank the leadership of NEET for this opportunity given to me to um, share with all of us the role of the wife in marriage. So the first thing I want to say is that marriage is an idea given by God. And I must make a disclaimer that I'm a Christian. So um, pardon me if I chip in some of my Christian principles. And it's well established that God saw that it was not good for man to live alone. Therefore, he said that he would give him a suitable partner and that partner happened to be the wife so that's the basis for which uh, marriage was instituted and um, as it has been said i've been married for 10 years and i can confirm that marriage is good it's very good especially if the foundation is good and you get the right partner it's good and sweet so let's as many as who desire to marry let's marry and so God saw that it was no good, and therefore he gave Adam a partner. So it means that marriage is mainly for companionship and partnership. That is the main reason why marriage was instituted. And it's so vital to the society. And because of that, if marriages don't go well, it affects the society because it affects the families through the and marriage that families are also instituted. I must also say that marriages are different depending on um, whoever or those people who are involved. So what may work for me may not work for the other person. So we should also know that. And when we talk of roles, we are talking about the position or the duty and then the tax um, or job of an individual. So what are some of the duties of a married woman who is a wife or the position of the married woman in the marriage. And these roles are mostly developed by our cultural, religious, or historical background. So because of that, what may be accepted as a role for women in a certain culture may not be the same for the other um, culture and the same for religion and then historical issues also influence the roles that are performed by women as wives and in the past women were seen as homemakers and then good wives that was the primary role of women and but now times are changing times have changed a lot and the same society that used to view women as um, housewives, good mothers, and then homemakers, now do not appreciate women only for their, these rules, but they expect women to do much more than this. And that is where the challenge comes, because it means that you are expected to add additional roles to your primary roles, and it becomes a problem. 
So, um, because of these um, changes, it's, it's, it's um, leading to a lot of problems and women are in a fist. We don't know where we really, we really fit, whether we have to concentrate solely on the home or we have to go out as career women. But through it all, I think what I, should, I, I want to say is that we have our primary roles as women. And these roles are those roles that cannot be performed. We cannot delegate them if they can be better performed by us. So we should um, take into consideration this point. So I'll just mention some few basic roles that you are supposed to play. I hope that as questions come along, um, we'll be able to address them into details because we don't have much time. So, um, in terms of the basic roles of women, I've categorized it as the role to the husband, then to the home and then the society. So in terms of the husband, the first thing is that you are a helper to your husband. Women are helpers to our husband. Men have their own weaknesses and we are in the life of men because the man was first created and then um, the woman was created to come and help the man. So that is the first thing. We are helpers to our husband. So most of the time, if you choose right, you see that um, you use your strength to partner your husband and then your husband's, your husband's weaknesses and then your husband's strength will also partner you in your weaknesses. And that is where the partnership comes. We are not competitors as wives. We just complement our husbands in marriage. Then also, women are supposed to respect their husbands by reverencing them. You notice them. You should notice that this is your husband. You should honor him. You should esteem him. You should regard and value his opinions. That is what you mean by um, respecting your husband. Then we are also supposed to love them, accept them unconditionally. So it means that whoever you choose as a husband, whether you like it or not, you have to accept him. Therefore, it's important that you choose and choose right. Then one vital role in loving a husband is to satisfy them sexually. It is a vital role. It's mandatory for every woman to satisfy the husband sexually. So most of the time you hear men complaining it's that women don't like sex. So the women here, let's try and then improve. Instead of us spending so much time during courtship having sex, let's reserve it so that when we marry, we can push more energy. We should prioritize it. We should make it a priority that it's our role. Then also we are supposed to submit to them. And this is where there is a lot of confusion about the submission. I know a lot of questions will come today and we will um, answer them. So by submission, we are just talking about voluntarily um, agreeing to his loving leadership. It doesn't mean that you are subordinate or you are um, a doormat, but when there is a tie, if you happen to have a husband who understands you and then allows you to participate in the decision making, and then there is a tie, his vote counts. So you allow him to make his decision, he goes. When he goes, and then I always tell my husband, You go. When you go, but I always they go and hit the one, then they come back. So at that point, don't insist, he's the leader. So allow him, they will go. If he goes, well, hallelujah. If it doesn't, then maybe they may try to accept yours. Then we come to our roles in the um, home as homemakers. We are homemakers. And research has established that men are not um, penalized for keeping their spaces dirty as much as women are penalized. So it means that the cleanliness of the home, the orderliness, the pleasant nature of the home, much of it depends on the wife. Either you are doing it yourself, you are hiring people to um, assist you, you are delegating it to your children. It is your responsibility to make sure that the home is clean. You are a homemaker. So the women are young ladies who are now coming, who are growing. Let's make it a habit to also develop it. It's not only about our cuteness and uh, the slave queen things, but that aspect is also very, very important. 
let's let's develop that habit then also um as a homemaker it's your duty to ensure that the family is eating right the family is eating right it's very very important this time that we have so many chronic diseases which are based on dietary which are um, diet related it's important that we as women equip ourselves with the skills of cooking and cooking good food so that we don't only depend on the junk foods, but we can also assist um, in the home. My time is almost up. And then um, it's important for us, to, for me to say that um, a lot of studies have shown that irrespective of our, of our income levels as women, no matter the height at which the increase, increment in your, man, your, your wages, um, it doesn't affect your home making um, duties. A lot of studies have shown it. So most men will still respect women. Not even though in Africa, in Afghanistan, in um, Pakistan, and some other places, it's quite intense. But globally, it's the same. Just that maybe in the Western world, it's not so dramatic like in Africa and those places. But still, they affect us. That of us. And then I think the last thing I will say is that. Um, we also expected to train our children. And if you can remember in growing up, it was your mother who was most of the time um, available and then training you. So I think it's one of our main roles. Then our last one that I'll say is we are supposed to serve outside the home. So in serving outside the home, it's whereby we, as career women, we can take um, income generating ventures and then be useful to the society and then the community and with this one it takes a lot of organization and then a lot of strength if not in the end you break up and that is where you need the support of our husbands so um my time is up by energy these are some of the roles that are documented as um, the roles of a wife i believe that as we move on um, a lot of questions will come up and then to address them. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. Brief but detailed. And they bear the waha. Please, um, Mr. and Mrs. Hagen, over to you. Hello, everyone. Um, we are very, very happy to be here with you. Um, of course, we don't have as much experience as Mrs. Um, Samoa, but we would also like to share, uh, reflect a little on what she said Hello. and then add on to it. But I also want to say, um, I pay some respect to uh, some of the big people here, uh, including Brother Nixon and, <laughs> and his family. They have been a blessing to us and um, helping us, guiding us as well. Um. So, thank you very much. Um, Okay, so I just I will just pick up from what um, Mrs. Amwa said. Um, Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I just pick up from what from what Mrs. Amwa said. Um, personally, I I grew up. Um, sorry, I forgot. Uh, so this is uh, my wife, Gabriela Daiwanga from Indonesia, as was um, uh, earlier introduced. Um, so we have known each other for uh, about 10 years. Um, uh, we were best friends for about eight, seven, eight years, and then we picked up from there. So um, it's, it's been a very good transition for us. And uh, marriage has been very good. Like Mrs. Samoa said, marriage is really, really, really good. Uh, so yes, it's really encouraged. You will enjoy it. And I thought I was happy when I was single. <laughs> uh, marriage really showed that there is something better so anyway um for me i grew up in a family that um had very high achieving women um my mother and my aunties were very high achieving women and not just that but they they were also coupling that with domestic affairs and it was a very very good combination and one of the things i i would be highlighting on is is um is, is this part because for instance, for my mother, my, my mother worked as my dad's boss at work in a church. 
Um, but interestingly, when we come home, you don't see that dynamic. When we are at home, she serves, she cooks the food, she prepares the water for him to, to bath with, and she really serves that way. Um, my auntie was also a very um, high achieving woman. She, uh, she was one of the leading doctors at, at Kolebu and also uh, the leading doctor on uh, leukemia uh, in Africa. Yet she would spend time, go home, fetch water into the bucket, pick up the children, cook for them. So I, I grew up in, uh, in such a family where I dynamic and what it did for me was that it helped me to respect women and to respect um how amazing a woman can be in terms of that she can really be very achieving and yet also be so humble that she serves not just her husband but also her children as um, the first speaker has said um, and here i want to draw on uh, being a christian i want to draw on a, a couple of things here uh, in the book of genesis the bible says that the woman was made as a suitable helper. Um, and actually, really, really interesting, the Hebrew word for helper over there means deliverer. So it's, it's, not, it's not like saying, you know, helper, so she's like some assistant somewhere. It's actually bigger. Her responsibility, her role is really big. 